Our, our first horse of the year is uh, the reserve champion for the two-year-old stallion, and that's Spotlight on Jose 4G. And he is a world champion and reserve world grand champion. And he also won the Christmas in July in North Carolina. That's a nice horse right there. Yes, he is. He's, he's really good. Yes, he is. You know, that's the thing with me, you know, I like to watch it on the video because right. you don't get to see it at the horse right. show and stuff like that. But, you know, when you go back and watch it, it's... The two-year-old class this year was by a top tier, I thought. Yeah. The horses were really, really phenomenal. Bill them does, does a real good job with this horse right yes. here. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. they, they do a real good job there. It's hard being a horse trainer and get to watch the shows. That's, right. You know, that's why I think, that's why I always say go back on these videos. I like to watch a video. A I picture only can show the videos. Yes. so much. That's good. The Adcocks, they've been really, really good for the horse business. Yeah, they have. Bob always have a smile on his face he every does. time you talk to him. He always have a smile and a real nice guy. He is. He's a cool guy. I yeah. like him a lot. That horse had a real good show season there. Yeah, he did. It's a big win winning at Asheville, yeah. too. You know, a lot of people realize it's, you know, the, for a trainer to work these horses and get them ready for the horse shows, I mean, it takes a lot. Right. You know. Absolutely. A two-year-old going out of town, you yes. know, as far as North Carolina and to perform like that. That's really right. spectacular. All right, our next uh, uh, is uh, Kingpin, and he was a reserve winner in the amateur 15 two and under. And Kingpin, he's a multi-blue ribbon winner and the 2023 reserve world grand champion. This horse has been consistently good throughout yes. the years. Mm -hmm. I love him. I, I love the way he walks behind. I mean, he just sweeps his yes. back in. He's, he's always been kind of a favorite of mine. Bob rides him great. Bob got some pretty good horses. Yeah, he, he does. He, he, he looked out and, and buy them pretty young, and you know, he gets right. some pretty good ones. Horse always stays in the top. He does. Shows. Yes, he, he, he you're watching. absolutely he, right. He stays in the top there. He's consistent. I don't think I've ever really seen him make a bad, bad show. show. Yeah. It's for Rainwalk, Bob. We'll let him come out. I was just thinking that, yeah. <laughs> I love to watch this pair right here. They're, yeah. they're really just got two peas in a pod as far as. Yeah. <laughs> he shows them well. He really not shows shy on his running walk. No. That's one thing about this, you know, this industry. You competitive when you're showing against each other, but after the show, you back friends, you right. talking, and everybody's getting along. That's and everything exactly else, right. You know. Our next horse of the year is the amateur four-year-old stallion winner, and he was born a maverick. And born a maverick is a consistent winner. He is a two-year-old world champion, three-year-old world champion, and the 2023 four-year-old world grand champion. That's another 
Nice one. First time I seen this horse was at a coat preview at, um, well, it's Sugar Creek now, but it was riding the star. Right. And Tony Palomina was riding him up and down there. Yeah. Now he was a wall as a buck beard <laughs> now, but now you can see the talent yes. in him. Mm -hmm. Tony, he does a good job. Yeah. He does a good job starting it. I'm thinking I might be wrong. I think he started Spotlight on Jose. Too. Okay, he might be, yeah. Yeah. Tony does a good job. He does a real good job. Mm -hmm.